grace. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't dress Drew's Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. You can help my family. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although, what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion, but it's a risk I cannot afford. I admire your discretion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Good night, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. It went well. Really? That's a relief. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah! <laughs> what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour, which I doubt is Dornish for wife. Put it back. We're just having a bit of fun. It's probably for the best. I've heard he's a bit perverse. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows, we might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him, and he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well? Sarah? I tried to move them back, my lady. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. 
Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mirror. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. You were brave agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been easy. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. My mother wanted me to ask a favor of you, for my family. But as you said, you're in a delicate position now with the wedding so near. And I would never want to jeopardize that. Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now we must both be cautious. Of course, my lady. You're right. Better to wait. <laughs>